Oh my god, 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 guys! Hi everybody, I am here in beautiful Cairns. I just wanted to say welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for clicking this video today. You're here with your girl Rose, and today we're going to do a reactor season 4. Oh my god, guys, I am just assuming that we are still with Captain Levi because obviously when we last saw him and Zeke, it was raining, and this is also outdoors and it's raining. <laughs> Okay, so we are not with Captain Levi. This is Hanji. Hanji heard a thunder spear. Oh my god, she might have obviously heard Zeke. Uh oh, is Flock kind of cluing on that in that direction could be Captain Levi and Zeke? Because why else would there be a thunder spear going off? Okay, there he goes. Let's head in that direction. Is Flock as smart as he looks? Damn, oh my god. There is Zeke. Half his body's missing. Oh my god. Is he still alive? I guess because um, his head wasn't severed from his body, he could technically still be alive. I mean, how many times did Reiner always die? He's still conscious. It's so quiet. Who's that chick? Did Zeke fall in love with someone? I mean, I wouldn't be surprised. We haven't seen any love interest yet, but that doesn't mean that there isn't but in saying that did the Mali people know that he had royal blood and if they did why wouldn't they want him to procreate so that way they can control that royal bloodline in case they ever get the founding titan i am so confused i thought we didn't have any more titans i thought that everybody on the island of paradise killed all the titans where is this titan coming from Oh my god, what's Zeke gonna do? Oh my god, it's so close to eating Zeke. Oh. Wait a second. It opened up its stomach. Ew, what's it doing? Oh my god, that is so gross. What is it doing? Why did it put Zeke in its tummy? Ugh. Oh my god. We'll dine at the same table again soon. Okay. Oh my gosh, now Yelena is in charge, of course. She's like, well, Yelena knew all along that this was going to happen. I feel like once Zeke's plan is comes into play and all the aliens are eventually killed off or they can't procreate anymore, she has made connections with everyone. And so essentially she will have power. She could potentially become in charge. And I feel like that's why she strongly advocated for the Malian people because she knew that when she came into charge, she'd be like, oh no, I totally did this all for you guys. Duh. In the past, I was always able to read Eren. Not always able to read Eren, but he was quite predictable in the sense that, you know, he loved Aramin, he loved Mikasa, he just wanted all times to be destroyed but now learning the truth of everything i don't know who aaron is anymore and i don't know what he actually wants anymore either and so i don't know this aaron and he hasn't said much and given much away although i do believe he still wants to protect aram and amigasa but part of me still finds it hard to believe that he still wants part on this euthanization plan and i also remember in the last episode um, when tom cassava told zeke that there is a way of renouncing war so apparently aaron can obviously give zeke his power of the founding time but it really comes down to whether or not aaron will give him that power and so I don't know. Is he really siding with Zeke or does he have his own plans and he's just using Zeke and Yelena to achieve whatever means? That's true. You could become Tyns at any minute. That bitch poisoned all of you. Oh my god, it makes me so mad. She got them so good too. With, oh wow, even his own comrades pointing guns at him. Oh wow, his son and him drank the wine. I mean, that doesn't guarantee anything, guys. You think Zeke is going to be like, oh no, you were obeying us, so I'm not going to use you. If he decides to turn and cry out, everybody in the vicinity turns into a titan. I mean, I guess they don't know that, though. But I bet you Yelena knows that. 
Yeah, it doesn't matter when he betrayed them at this point, Commander Pixie. I don't feel like this guy is being unreasonable. He's trying to protect his kids and himself. One of them, the guy behind Pixie, is wearing a red ribbon, whereas the other one is wearing a white ribbon. Oh, okay, so switching sides sooner comes with advantages, and so this guy wearing the white ribbon means that he switched earlier? Okay, so the white band means that you're a Jaegerist. Red must be for those who learned they drank tainted wine and were forced to comply. I mean, that's a pretty reasonable deduction there, Commander Pixie. Ah, oh, the rest of the fools, the rest of them who drank the wine without knowing a thing are identified as black because he did not know a thing. I wonder what happened to his second in charge because I don't believe she drank the wine because she didn't feel anything. I'm pretty sure. Perhaps she's also a black. Or maybe she's a different color because she didn't drink any of the wine. Okay, so this happened to Yelena before. Look, Yelena, it is not like you have been very forthcoming. I feel like if you gave them the option before poisoning them, I would say that perhaps we were a little bit too trusting. You did drink the tainted wine, but I mean, how are we supposed to know that when Yelena was advocating for them to get jobs in restaurants and transportation that they were transporting poisoned wine. You asked them to trust you. On what basis? Just They don't even know what your plan is and you still want them to trust you. Is Yelena actually going to tell him the plan? He's not a complete god because he still needs Aaron at the end of the day. I'm just saying. Oh look, at least they're being served tea still. No, he could potentially crush you all in that. Exactly, I'd destroy the city. Why does Iron Man have to tell you anything? No offense, but he doesn't owe you anything. He obviously hurt them to push them away. Exactly. Come on, Iron Man, you know the answer to this. I do feel like he's very conflicted because as we saw when they were at the table, he wasn't looking up. I do feel like he's just playing along. And then when the time is right, I do believe he'll do the right thing. But whether or not Yelena picks up on this is also worrying me because if she does pick up on it, she can have him thrown into jail and then how would he be able to help them all from there? It was a very clever plan. Come on, Jean. We saw Piak in one of the previous episodes, so they must be here too. I'm wondering how much of the Mali people knew about all this. You can crush Mali and avenge your homelands. That's not what Yelena wants. But I do believe Yelena wants to be in control. Because he sided with the devils. Well, he fell in love with one. Oh my god. You know, that makes me so mad. How dare you talk about Sasha like that. Punch him, knock him out. Oh. Well, because he cared about her. Oh my god. Seriously, somebody knock this guy out. Seriously, I'm gonna slap this guy. It will make it easy to understand that spawn of the devil hall was. <gasps> oh my god! <gasps> Holy shit, Yelena just shot him! Oh my god, why? What the hell was that for? Oh my god, I'm so confused. Why did Yelena shoot him? Literally, this chick is crazy. <gasps> I apologize for his disrespect. Oh man, you want to be seen as the good guy who's trying to support the people here who are the underdogs or the victims. Oh my gosh. Because at the end of the day, there will still be a hundred years with Eldians even if they don't procreate. And she does not want to have to constantly watch her back. Of course, she's gonna want to try to placate both sides and come across as like understanding and empathetic but man she's just showing how crazy she is off oh, you have been telling secrets from the start you bitch oh my god Yelena you are making me so mad if you're gonna tell them everything you better tell them about Zeke's euthanization plan oh shit okay she actually is telling them about Zeke's euthanization plan I was not expecting that guys <laughs> I feel like Gabby is a bit conflicted and I hope she is a bit conflicted because I mean it's showing growth that she's becoming empathetic and more understanding. What does Erin want with her? Call for help on the radio to flush out intruders in the walls. 
I'm so confused. So obviously Aaron knows that there is intruders within the wall. So perhaps he doesn't really trust Zeke because he believes Zeke is still in touch with the Malian people. Is this what's happening? <gasps> There's Piek! <gasps> Holy shit! Oh my god, she just killed him! Holy crap, that was ruthless. Oh my god, she's got a gun pointed at Aaron. Oh my god. <sighs> you do not know who you have a gun to, Piek. No offense, but you are just a car titan too. I guess you were so badly injured that you can't remember how he was this close to killing Galliard and how he has the Warhammer Titan. I think you kind of forgot that. Piek, if I were you, I'd be more scared. Just because you have a gun at him doesn't mean anything. Gabby looks so scared. I wonder if she's like this because she's like, Piek, you do not know how crazy Aaron is. You putting a gun at him means nothing, Piek. And that's probably why she's still so scared. Oh my god, she's too scared to move because she knows. She knows. Oh my god, it is a little bit sexy when Aaron's like, what if I refuse? Piek, what are you gonna do? I'll pull the trigger and your brains will hit the floor. Pfft. It's true, why don't you pull it then? You aren't allowed to kill the founding time. Your orders are just to retake it. Oh my god, I love Gabby's face. She's so scared, guys. She's just looking at Aaron and is like, This guy is fucking nuts. He's crazy. He's not even scared of death. I'm not sure that's literally what's going on in her head. That's why he's not scared. You ain't got nothing on him. Oh my god, I love how Pierre came in here so cocky, knocked out the other soldier, literally. And now she's like, alright, you're right, I won't shoot you. I don't know. That was a bit too easy. Oh, so Aaron knew that they were there. I'm confused, what's going on? Is she all of a sudden siding with Aaron now? Yeah, what is your goal, Piek? To free all Eldians in Mali around the world. Oh my god, I love it! Good! Join forces with Eren. Although in saying that, Eren's a little bit crazy. Just follow along for the ride, you know? If he frees all Eldians at the end of it, bonus! You also have to be aware of his euthanization plan too. Piek wants to free her family from the internment zone. Oh, she did it to protect her family, guys. <laughs> Of course, all their terms will be over soon. Oh my god, you know, that's so beautiful. I don't know. I mean, if this is a trick, she's got me good. I mean, I believe what she's saying. Like, you can see it in her eyes, right, guys? Don't tell me she betrays us. I wonder if the same thoughts are going on in Eren's mind. Can he trust her? At any moment, if he lets his guard down and she's still with the Mali people, like how Zeke's still with the Mali people, all she would need to do is eat him and then she would have the founding time. And maybe this is also the Mali people's plan. Get him to trust them and then when he's unaware and vulnerable, eat him. Gabby is pissing me off so much right now, guys. We have been fighting for freedom. That is what everybody wants, Gabby. Why do you want to go back to a world where you're in an internment zone when you have seen how free the people live in Eldia? But she's not looking at the bigger picture. Maybe because she doesn't know enough about what is going to happen and what the Founding Titan's abilities are. Wrong. We are subjects of Ymir. That's the one truth we can't escape. Oh, okay, see, there we go. So Aaron doesn't 100% trust her. Prove it. If you're going to cooperate with us, show us you mean it. What does that mean? Oh my god, she's going to show him where her comrades are. Oh my god. I feel like you're on the right side, Piek. I always liked you. Wow, Yelena actually told them their plan. Stop children from being born. Poof, disappear from the world. I mean... It will take about a hundred years for that to happen. And I'm sure Eldians are not going to go down quietly in that hundred years. I'm just saying. I mean, I wouldn't. I'd be freaking pissed. Even Yelena is aware that they, 
that some will fight back. But she has taken that into account too. True, how do we know that like who's gonna protect them when they become the minority and people still remember and hate them? How who's gonna protect them? Oh, okay, so as long as the royal bloodline is preserved, then that will still be a threat and protect them. Hmm. Exactly. You talk about it like this is a sure thing. No nation can claim to have them. True. The history of tears and bloodshed will be put to an end by Zeke and Eren. I don't know about Eren so much, but what is Eren's intentions? Is it exactly the same as Zeke's? I mean, how do you know that the Eldians will not use the rumblings after, you know? Perhaps she wants them to use their rumbling because they're an, at an advanced technology to take out Titans. And so if they use the rumbling first, towards the end there, they really kind of have no protection against the rest of the world. And I guess their defeat will also mean that gradually Eldians will become a bit more passive because they have nothing left to protect them. Wow, she really reveres them as like godlike figures. They'll be seen as saviors who shun over humanity. What's going on with Armin? He's crying. No, but to think your cause was so noble. Wait, I'm so confused. He's touched because she believes the plan is so noble? So Armin agrees with their plan? I mean, at the end of the day, Araman has the Colossal Tine and he's never wanted to hurt people and having the Colossal Tine, he did hurt people. So maybe he also thinks that if there were no Eldians, there wouldn't be this suffering. I don't know. I, if I was still Eren, I wouldn't really be able to trust Pierre. But in saying that, Eren is so OP, like... I wouldn't even be scared of it. Also, to be fair, we don't know how many invaders there are. She might just point out a group of invaders when there could be also another group of invaders. We can't really completely trust her. I don't know if I can trust her or not, guys. Wait, isn't that Galliard? Guys? Okay, so the Mali people perhaps didn't know what Zeke's actual plan was because Piek didn't know how Zeke was able to take control. Do you even know why Zeke even has an ability like that? No, how does he... I mean, look, I wouldn't be surprised if, like, Tom Cassavo used Zeke's spinal fluid in some experiments of his because I do remember seeing in episode one of season four them dropping people out into that place where they were attacking and those people didn't look sane. So maybe they were experimented on with obviously Zeke's spinal fluid. Oh wow, no. Other than Zeke himself, nobody knows. Oh wow, she even was suspicious of Zeke herself. Oh, that's right. Duh, she was there. She was the cart titan. She heard what Zeke said to Eren that day. What secret power of his? Oh, like how it can draw out the founding titan's power or something. What? So, that's not really a secret. Maybe Piak is also revealing this to cause um, conflict between Eren and Zeke. Because at the end of the day, Galliard, Reiner, Piek, they're not strong enough to take out Eren and Zeke. I love how she's not even scared. She's like, oh, you shaved your beard. Hmm. Bitch. I thought you looked better in it. It's true, but it's mutual. Perhaps her being here is also a signal to all those intruders within the wall to attack. Take back power now. I don't know. Why do you want to know where Zeke is so bad? I feel like you're asking a lot of questions. Oh my god. Oh wait, no, that's Eren's wrist. That was Eren. I thought that was Piek. What's going to happen? Oh my god. Oh my god. Piek, you look so trusting. Just your smile. It's so beautiful. I know now that you are still with Molly. Oh, she pointed at Eren. 
Because she's still Team Molly. I know it. Perhaps she saved Gabby because, you know, at the end of the day, Gabby still has that training to become a honorary Molly and a Titan holder. And so... Oh my god. I think they just jumped off the building. <gasps> Holy crap. And the floor is falling out from underneath Aaron. Oh my god. Oh, there's the jaw time. I knew that was Galliard we saw earlier, guys. It's like you didn't learn the first time. Aaron, whoop his ass. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Aaron's turning. Oh my god, guys. Aaron is turning. Shit is about to go down. Oh my god. Oh my god. If I was Galliard, I'd be shit scared right now. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god, guys. It's begun. The times have started to move. Oh my god. Oh my god, oh my god, what's gonna happen? Oh my god, you thought I'd sell out my comrades. Oh my god. Pierre, I actually trusted you there. You got me good. Oh my god, oh my god, she doesn't trust Mali, but she trusts her comrades. Oh my god. Oh, okay, so they were to expose Aaron's location. Oh my god. Oh my god, Rhino hasn't turned yet. Oh my god, he's still there. Oh my god, if I was Rhino, I'd be shit scared. Oh my god, Rhino's face. Is that fear in his eyes? Or just concentration on the mission, on the goal? Maybe he also plans to save Annie too at the same time. Oh my god, guys. Oh my god, what's gonna happen? Oh my god, there's Aaron. Oh my god, it looks so badass. Bring it on. We'll take you on. Oh my god, I love it so much. Oh my god. Oh my god. I loved this episode so much, guys. Bring it on, Reiner. I thoroughly enjoyed this episode and I'm so pumped for the next episode, guys. We've got Reiner, we've got Piek, we've got Galia there. And I honestly feel like, look, they don't stand a chance against Aaron. He kicked their asses. Thank you so much for watching this episode today. And please comment below. Tell me what you liked about this episode. Did you also believe Piek? She got me good. <laughs> but anyways, thanks guys. See ya.